Hello friends, welcome to this video about the design of the Carris Kipader. In this set of videos we are explaining one by one the different types of binary other circuits and this time it is the turn to explain the Carris Kipader. What is a Carris Kipader? A Carris Kipader is another design that improves the delay of a ripple carry other by using the carry propagate concept to bypass the ripple chain whenever possible, so reducing the need to wait for the previous carry to be generated. The carry skip other is also known as a carry bypass other. This is a typical module of a carry skip other circuit. This module is made with four full others in series, one, two, three, four, with a multiplexer at the end and a bypass line that skips the carry under certain conditions. But before going into details, let's remember the three scenarios propagate, generate and delete as explained in a separate video. If you haven't looked at it, this is a good occasion for doing so. In any case, to refresh your memory, I join here a single slide that summarizes these three concepts. This is the logic table of an addition made with a full other. As you see, among them there are four combinations of inputs in which the carry in and the carry out are identical. 0, 1, 0, 1 for the carry in, 0, 1, 0, 1 for the carry out. These combinations are called the propagate scenario, which means the combination conditions under which an input carry is propagating to the output, so that the carry out is equal to the carry in. This propagate condition is when the exclusive OR of the inputs A and B is equal to 1. The bypass line delineated in the circuit module represents the propagate condition. If all the P's are 1, then the multiplexer opens the bypass line. As you know, the disadvantage of a ripple carry other is that each full other in the chain has to wait for the input carry to be able to calculate the sum. So, the idea of the skip other design is to take the advantage of the propagate scenario for bypassing the full other blocks when all are in propagate mode because in this case the carry out is equal to the carry in. That means we do not have to wait for the successive carries to be generated and we can jump directly to the next block. So, if in a chain of full others every other is in propagate mode, then the carry output of the module is the same as the carry input. This condition is P0, P1, P2, P3, equal to 1. Note that we can verify this condition at the very first start, because the data digits A and B are known from the beginning. So, you can calculate the exclusive OR of A and B from the start. Note that if the propagate condition P is not equal to 1, that means that a carry has been deleted somewhere in between the chain and therefore you have to wait for the ripple chain to generate the carry. So, in this case, you cannot take the bypass and you have to proceed slowly, step by step. So, the fastest case is when all the full others are in propagate mode because in this case you can take the bypass line. So, the first thing I have to do for each block is to create the p-signals 
in order to know as soon as possible if all the piscinals are one and consequently I can take the bypass. In blue I have completed the circuit diagram to verify this condition. These blue lines are called the propagate signals. Note that in each line there is one exclusive OR gate. If all the propagate signals are one, then the product is one and the multiplexer opens the skip line. Up to now, we have seen the carry skip other circuit when the number of bits of the processor is 4. Now, the question is, how to do when the number of bits is higher than 4? The answer is, in this case, we can replicate the carry skip other module as many times as needed. For example, for n equals 16 bits, we can replicate it 4 times. And this is the circuit. So, the idea is to split all the n bits in groups, hoping that at least in some of the groups all the propagate signals are one, and I can take the bypass. We name k the number of groups into which we divide the total n bits. Note that when k is equal to 1, is the same case as to have a continuous ripple carry other in the main line. So, for the case of 16 bits and k equal to 1, we would have only one continuous ripple chain of 16 bits with a unique skip line. Let's look now at the critical path. By definition, the critical path is the longest path, the one that takes more time to output the result. This longest path occurs when we have a non-propagate condition P equal to 0 in the first two bits A0, B0 of the first block, so we have to wait for the carry delay of all the first block. Why this is the longest path? Because if we do not have a non-propagate condition P equal to 0 until later in the blockchain, then we skip the first blocks until this point. Then from this point it wouldn't care about the previous carry and the time of the effective path would start from here to the end, so the path is shorter. It can be demonstrated that the time of the critical path is represented by this formula. Where the meaning of each of the variables are these. Note that if in the formula we make k equal to 1, this means we have only one block of n full others. So the main line is a continuous ripple carry other and we obtain the expression of the critical path of a ripple carry other already found in previous video, which is this one. Let's finally compare the performance of the carry skip other compared to the ripple carry other. For the same number of bits, the critical path time of the carry skip other is faster. When n increases, the critical path time for the ripple carry other gets slower and the difference increases in favor of the carry skip other. If we plot the skip other delay as function of k, we have a curve with a minimum point, and the optimum number of carry skip other modules is given by this minimum point, which is equal to this. We can find this minimum point by mathematically deriving the equation of the delay with respect to k and make it equal to zero. Of course, 
k is an integer number, so in the solution we have to choose the closest integer. So, in summary, for the same number of bits, if we compare the performance of the carry skip adder with respect to the ripple carry adder, the critical path time for the ripple carry adder is longer and it gets longer when n increases. So, for higher number of bits, the carry skip adder becomes the best choice. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. In the next video, we will explain another improved type of binary other circuit in an effort to reduce the delay even more. So, keep in touch.